Hello guys, welcome to Couponing. This is Splint Rose. I am showing you our tree with my son and his family. I'm with my son and his family in California. And as you can see, all these gifts up under the tree. But what I'm about to do right now is share something very special with you. Now, I'm going to be uh, reciting a poem about Christmas time. Now, this poem was written in 1822, and it was a New York clergyman. A clergyman is like a pastor named Clement Clark Moore. He put together Christmas memories for his children, and he wrote a poem, and he featured a red-suited Santa in a reindeer-drawn sleigh as a never-empty sack of toys and stockings hung expectantly above the fireplace. Okay, so I am going to be reading that story to you. And it started out being called A Visit from St. Nicholas. But as time went by, they opened it up with the opening line that says, "'Twas the night before Christmas." And soon, that became the original title for this poem. Okay, like I said, the poem was written in 1822. So I don't know who would claim uh, anything towards this uh, particular poem at this later date. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to be reciting it, okay? Excuse me, I've caught a cold again. Okay, so I'm going to start. "'Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house... Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas would soon be there. Here's our stockings. Okay, let's go back over here. Okay. Okay, so the stockings were hung by the chimney with care and hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there rose such a clatter. I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window, I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his courses they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cooper, Cupid, on Dunder and Blitzen. And you know who they are, right? To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves before, the wild hurricanes fly when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the courses they flew with sleigh full of toys in St. Nicholas, too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. 
his eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and his beard, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf. And I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod, Up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Okay, that's the ending of the story. I hope you enjoyed it. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and don't forget to keep on coming back for good videos. Okay, guys, bye-bye. Enjoy yourselves.